Hello and welcome. Today's project is all about morning anxiety. Why is morning anxiety the worst part of it? anxiety sufferers day because it was for me but also talking with my clients I see that it's the worst part of their day so I really want to dive into why and also what are the tools and techniques that you can implement starting tomorrow morning to lessen your anxiety but also prepare you for the chaotic day ahead that you're imagining that you're ruminating about because that's what happens in the morning. An anxiety sufferer wakes up and with little sleep usually, and then all of a sudden they check in with themselves and they go, oh no, or they say, oh God. It's those little unconscious words, that dialogue that you say to yourself that perpetuates this fear of, of the day because it's the, in that moment where you are dreading, how am I gonna get through the day? You're basically with those, that dialogue telling yourself, there's no way I can get through this. What if I faint today? What if I have that panic attack today? What if I throw up today? How am I gonna get through work today when I'm ruminating about this disease? What if I have cancer? What if I have a heart disease? Or what if I'm just low in a certain uh, electrolyte or whatever it is, it's those little things, well not little to an anxiety sufferer, but it's those, it's those what ifs that perpetuate the fear and dread of the day. It's really, really important to be aware of that, right? And that little bit of sleep that the anxiety sufferer gets was a temporary relief from the dread I was facing, right? Because when I used to suffer from health anxiety, I would wake up in the morning and I'd be like, oh God, I'm awake. I have to start this day. You know, I didn't get enough sleep and uh, I already feel tired. Uh, I really enjoyed that temporary relief of all of my dread and my symptoms. It was nice, but now I have to face the day and it just hit me like a ton of bricks because, well, the first thing is, the reason why I'm not getting a lot of sleep is because my anxiety system was on all the time. It's like your car is in park and your foot's on the gas pedal and you're revving the car continuously. And, you know, how are you supposed to get a, a deep, powerful sleep if your car is in park and it's revving all night long and anxiety sufferers see that because they wake up in the in the middle of the night sensitive over to to the thoughts of the day or their symptoms or uh, the the dreams that they're having and they can't get back to sleep and their their sleep cycle gets uh, sloppy and because your sleep cycle gets sloppy it's paradoxical because with the lack of sleep, your anxiety systems are more susceptible to whatever information that you're paying attention to the following day, right? And that's uh, debilitating. It's, it's this constant loop, which is, uh, which is debilitating. And as soon as you wake up in the morning, it's the what if concern that really gets the anxiety sufferer. It's the what if I have panic attack today what if I do have this disease I got to go to my doctors I got to phone my doctor all of these different things like I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, uh, of this video but also um, what you pay attention to the most is what you value so if you're emotionally invested into this what if thing going on inside you this symptom right if you're emotionally attached to it what happens you're putting it at the top of your values list. So when you wake up in the morning, what does your, where does your mind go? What's of most important to you? Because you're filtering in all this outside information, what's relevant to what's currently going on. If, if you're currently obsessing and ruminating about something uncertain, it's gonna make itself known to you in the morning. Because, well, that's of top priority, right? it's this could be a threat to my life obviously I should pay attention to it first thing in the morning or all day long right as I used to do 
So the first thing I really want to talk about here to overcome morning anxiety and to prepare yourself for the day is engage in your self dialogue first thing in the morning. And this is something I practiced for such a long time. As soon as you wake up in the morning, say to yourself, today is a challenge. Today is a challenge. Why is it a challenge? It's a challenge because a challenge means it's something that you can overcome. It's something that you can strive to to conquer and that's really important so as soon as you wake up tell yourself today's a challenge the second thing is make your bed why it's because you're taking on some sort of responsibility at the end of the day at least you can say well I made my bed today you know I didn't just throw off the covers and just saunter out of bed I le- at least I took on some responsibility at least I took on some sort of challenge because making your bed is a challenge when you're suffering from anxiety because you wake up and you're completely drained so it takes effort to do that right so at least you did something that was um, that was beyond you right At least you took on some sort of challenge. At least you made some order out of your bedroom, out of your day. Because the more order you add to your bedroom and the more you make it beautiful and uh, and minimalize all that junk in your bedroom, right? The more you, you you clear up the mind, right? Because the bedroom is a direct reflection of the state of your mind and your house, right? So you clean up that little bit, you, you make your bed look nice, at least you're cleaning up a little bit of, of your mind as well. The third thing is that you should journal because journaling allows you to clear up that mental chaos. When you write down all the negative things that come to your mind first thing in the morning, what happens is you're confronting the things that you don't want to confront. And you're going to find that this to be the case. When you go and write down things that, that, that are, are troubling you, you'll see that it's hard to write them down. It's difficult because it's like you're confronting the dragon that you, you, don't, you don't want to face. And so, but, but it also what this does is it releases that clutter because if you have like a bunch of what if thoughts looping around your head and you start to write them down, it's like you're organizing and you're, you're releasing that mental clutter or all those thoughts that, because each thought, each, each thought serves as this what if uncertain entity. So if you put that uncertain entity down on paper, you're making it more certain, right? You're making it more known to you. Because like everybody, I used to repress each of each uh, what if thought, each uncertain thought, um, debilitating thought, catastrophic thought. I would repress it, suppress it not even pay attention to it. But now when you start to write these thoughts down, you're paying attention to it. You're starting to organize it. You're starting to solve the problem even by writing it down. It's like as soon as you write down this uh, unknown thought, right? It's like a part of me would resolve it by saying, you know what? I could figure that out by doing this. I could phone my doctor. I could go get it checked out or I could practice this technique today and it's a great way to to um, to overcome debilitating catastrophic thoughts. The fourth the fourth tool you should do in the morning is after you write down all of those thoughts in a journal, meditate. Now, meditation is really important because what this does is it gets you more comfortable in your own skin. But also, what's important about it is that it calms down the sympathetic nervous system which is your stress response which is your anxiety response right your amygdala is active in the morning it's going crazy but then once you start to meditate you're starting to breathe you're starting to calm down your system you're starting to relax your system really really uh, important but also like i was saying earlier 
you start to engage more with yourself and the thoughts that you're thinking and then you start to detach your emotional reactions to your thoughts by observing them rather than reacting to them and that's the beauty of meditation the last thing I do in the morning is that I stretch I get down on a yoga mat and I just stretch my body like at first it would be a five minute stretch where you just stretch and you just you know you kind of like there's a psoas muscle which is really interesting look into this but there's a psoas muscle that if it's tight it increases your anxiety but if you start to loosen the muscle what happens is you start to loosen the, the tension and your anxiety so I would just recommend you stretch and you know get up touch your toes type of thing um, I recommend that for anxiety and if you're uh, struggling with morning anxiety if you don't have 10 minutes to yourself every day then you're not truly alive you're not truly living because you have to spend that 10 minutes at least to to be in in tune with yourself anxiety sufferers are so out of tune with who they are and how they feel they don't know how they feel their their glass their emotional baggage is overflowing right there's any more novelty you add to it it's just they explode and so spending that alone time starts to you start to engage more in yourself and how you feel and you start to be more aware and alert and attentive towards hey you know I'm feeling stressed uh, I should do this or you know I have to I have to solve this problem because when I'm sitting with myself the problem comes up from my unconscious and I I should pay attention to it and so sitting with yourself every day for at least 10 minutes is crucial it's crucial so that's my routine in the morning I get up I engage in my self dialogue today's a challenge today's an opportunity to prove my old self wrong then I make my bed and then I sit with myself I journal I, I in my journal I write down all the negative thoughts that come to my mind but also three things I'm grateful for and then three things I'm excited about today and then after the journal I meditate for uh, well now I meditate for at least half an hour but at the beginning you know meditate for five ten minutes um, and then stretch and so start off if you're new to this morning routine start off with a 10 minute routine you know a couple minutes journaling uh, five minute meditation five minute stretch and then get up and go about your day and that's where I'm gonna leave you on today's video make sure you have a routine because discipline is crucial for anxiety recovery and you'll find that the more mentors you look up to who get, who have gotten to a better place in their life they have a routine they have a structure a discipline that they follow it could be exercise it could be meditation it could be that morning walk in the in the forest um, so when you look up to these mentors adopt their techniques what do they do to stay mentally clear what do they do to stay spiritually awakened and stress-free what do they do to manage their stress and it's going to be hard for you at first but know know this because they do it it's really important that you do it but also that you get past the cognitive dissonance stage the resistance stage you know feeling thinking and behaving in a manner you're not accustomed to it's new for you but the more you do it the more you'll see the benefits over time so what are your mentors doing and uh, I, I advise you to push through that resistance phase and to get to that point in your life and to get to the point where you actually see the benefits too right and that's where I'm gonna leave you today on this video thank you so much for being here if you haven't already please subscribe please leave your comments um, what is your morning routine what is your morning anxiety like uh, please leave your comments below and also do not let anxiety define who you are I will see you on the next video or podcast Bye for now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so that whenever a new video of mine appears,
you will be one of the first to know. Namaste.